Hello, dear Udoers and Overdoers. Welcome to this Udo Point of Sale tutorial. Let's imagine for a moment that we have decided to give some customers a discount based on a business agreement or because we decided to have a happy hour, for example. In these cases, price lists are a must. When a price list is active, it adapts some of our product's price depending on defined conditions. On one hand, we can choose to apply the price list on certain products. We can target all of them, a category, a particular product, or even a product's variant. On the other hand, we can add a condition regarding the quantity added to the cart, or even select a period of time during which that price list can be applicable. Finally, we can choose from three price computations. We can choose to define a fixed price, a discount, or a formula. The later one is uh, either based on a product's sales price, cost, or another price list. Also, it allows us to apply a discount, add an extra fee, define the rounding method, and make sure that the margins stay positive all at once. Let's find out how to, uh, to create all of these price lists. Are you ready? Let's get down on it. Oh, hey, I guess I went too down on it. Let's go and start doing our thing here. Let's click on point of sale. And first of all, we are going to activate the price list in our database. We're going to go on configuration and settings. And we're going to go uh, on the pricing part of the point of sale, activate the price list, and make sure that we have the advanced price rules activated. We're going to save this. And after it's loaded, we can go to our product on top and price lists. Here we will have the view for our price list, and we can immediately create another one by clicking on the button. We're going to call it our favorite customers, and you're all going to be in it. And uh, we're going to set the company to the pet crown because we want to use only on our shop and not on our bar. When uh, we are going to uh, click on add new line on it, and we have three different computations, as we mentioned before. We're going to use the three of them. First one is going to be a fixed price of discount of five euros, for example. And we're going to add it to a specific product, which is the duck toy friendly. And that's it. We can click on Save and New to create a new one and go to the discount. We're going to give a percentage, let's say 50% discount. We're going to give a 50% in all of our products. The only condition is that the client must buy at least two units. We're going to click on Save and New again, and we're going to use the formula, a little bit more complex, but we are going to base it on the sales price. We're going to give 80% discount. We're going to charge an extra fee of 5 euros, and we're going to round it to 0 0.01. Uh, we're going to add to a specific product, which is the duck toy rope tail, and we're going to leave the validity like that. So we're going to click on Save and Close now. And as you can see, three lines were added, and everything is ready to go. We will save. We will go back to our dashboard of point of sales, and we are going to now activate it in our point of sale, in our section. So we're going to click on the three dots on the top part of it, and we are going to go to the settings. We are going to scroll down until we find the, um, the price list. We're going to select it, and we're going to add it here directly on the um, available price list that we have here. We're going to save it, and we're going to go back to our point of sales. We will be ready to start using those price lists in our POS. Can you attribute the price list to a customer, for example? Of course we can. The only thing we need to do is come here on the menu on the top, Orders, Customers, select the customer that we want to add the price list to, let's say Loredana. We select it, Edit, and we will go to the Sales and Purchase tab, and we are going to simply change the public price list that she has now for the favorite customers. We're going to save it, and now we are ready to go to our front uh, end and test it uh, as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start a new session. While it loads, we're going to open the session, and we're going to select the products that has the criteria. So it's the dog toy friendly, the duck to uh, toy rope tail, and we're going to add two more duck toys here. So as you can see, the public price list is uh, selected because there is no uh, customer selected. We're going to click on the product price list and manually select the favorite customer. As you can see, all the lines and the totals are adjusted correctly and automatically.
And I imagine that if you put myself as a customer, I will have the price list applied. Of course. Why don't we try it as well? Let's go back here to the public price list and you can see that the prices are adjusted and we're going to set a customer just as we go. We're going to click here and set the customer and as you can see, it changed automatically back to the favorite customer because it's set on the uh, on Loredana's profile. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed and if I don't see you, you're probably John Cena. <laughs>